Hey everyone, I'm here at Little Rock Central High School and uh, this is a historic school. It's actually part of the National Park Service across the street anyways. There's a museum talking about the historical significance of this school. It's in Little Rock, Arkansas and uh, there's a little incident that happened, not really a little incident, but a huge incident that happened where desegregation was uh, taking place and African Americans were allowed to uh, go into any school that they wanted to, but yet the governor of Arkansas uh, forbid these students from entering this particular high school. And uh, they fought for their rights to go to this school. They tried to enter the school. The governor actually used the National Guard, the Arkansas National Guard, to try to prevent these students from going into this school. And so the President of the United States called out the 101st Airborne and used them to try to allow these students to go into this school. Here is a picture of the nine students that were allowed to go in the school once the 101st Airborne were coming. These students banded together and did what they could to make things right and to make it desegregated just like how it was supposed to be and how the Supreme Court ruled it to be. Here we are, Little Rock Central High School, where it all took place. You can see right across the street is the National Park Service National Historic Site Visitor Center where you can go in there and learn more if you'd like. As you can see, this is a massive school. It extends quite a ways back behind here and then there's also a large football stadium back there. Pretty cool to see. Standing right here where history was made, civil rights were on the forefront here in Arkansas, and people stood up for what they believed in, and not only these nine students, but the President of the United States. This happened in the 1950s. You can see this school is still used. Quick peek on the inside. You can see some trophies in there. You can still see the desks. So this school is still used. Time has moved on. But this still remains. I think it's pretty neat to be walking in the same spot where this history has occurred. See this little courtyard right here? As you can see, the sheer size of this school. I don't know how many students attend here. It's just a massive school. Especially considering the age of it. You can see down through there. It's big though. Get you out of the sun. Here you can see some of the size of this. I don't know what a graduating class from this school would have been. But definitely larger than any school I went to because to me it's huge definitely like the architecture to it you can see up there the little shields Big old stairs there. Actually a door right there. Pretty interesting that that door is pink. 
for some reason. I don't know what's in there. Some lockers in there, storage. I see a floor buffer. Go up these stairs here. It's a lot of stairs. Oh yeah. See these doors right there. And those windows and then there's these statues right there. Big huge statues. First one says ambition and then personality, opportunity, and preparation. But you can see how high it goes and those are some cameras up in there. Just a big, massive school. You can see these flagpoles there. There's actually two of them. Give them, give you a view of this courtyard right there. Pretty neat little courtyard, actually. See what we can see in the front part of this. You can see where there's cement here coming off. It looks like at one time it was painted red. I think that's just oxidized white from the red. But you can see where it's coming off, cracking there. It's so old. See the different spots where it's coming up. See what it looks like in here. Ah, oh, looks pretty nice on the inside. See what kind of views we can get in the far back back there. Looks like the tail of a panther or something. I guess that's their mascot. I'm not sure. Look at these great big huge lights here though. Huge. See those ladies just sort of looking down. Give you guys another view here. In there. Pretty neat. One more view from these doors there. Look like old lights up there. Like all these have pretty much the blinds closed on it, so you can't really see in. See in there, you can see some lockers there. You can see the banister way back there to the stairwell, kind of curving around. Pretty school. It actually looks like something that you would see at a university. Some kind of big building on a large university. It's a large flagpole out in front of a school. You can see how large that one is. This little pole right here isn't very deep. You can see some coins down at the bottom of it though. It's a Little Rock Central High School Tigers. Pretty neat little mosaic there. Class of 1962. So here on these benches they have these names. And there's nine of them here. 
you can see these names. Take you around and show you all those names. So you can see. All of these. This is actually a little saying on that one. But there's nine benches with nine names. around this little pool. Just noticed that as I was sort of leaving. Where you can see these names. So it's kind of like these nine names are around this little reflecting pool reflecting over what once was and what is now you can you can actually see the nine individuals walking up these stairs there's a picture of them where they're being escorted by the 101st airborne and they're walking up these exact stairs to be allowed to go into this school so it's pretty cool to see that this is where history was made, right here. As they were marching up those stairs and about to go into that school and enter those doors. Right across the street from the school and the museum is this old gas station. It's a mobile gas station and it's made to look like how it was. You can see this old sign, something you don't see anymore. This gas station has been fully restored or kept up, I'm not sure. But you can see these old pumps out here. They're in really good shape. And an old telephone sign. Here, you see Magnolia Oil Company, how long it's been here. And there's a picture of the troop trucks rolling by the station in 1957 when all this historic stuff took place. And you can actually see a short video with that if people actually still use that anymore from the National Park Service though. You can see the inside. This little visitor center here is across the street from this gas station. But this gas station looks outstanding. You can see how well they've done on preserving it. And over here, you can see that sign in the ladies' room. All this stuff here. Pretty cool. Old gas station that they have here. Like I said, right across from the high school there. Love the old pumps though. So there's this park right also in the vicinity. So there's something on all four corners. But it's a commemorative garden from 2001. The president was George Bush, Governor Mike Huckabee, and all of the board of directors to help make this happen. There's the visitor center, the gas station, in the high school.